Hello and welcome to part two of my uh, beginner's guide to shortcuts a lot. In this one I'm just doing a very quick overview of the uh, workspace that you'll see when you open up shortcuts a lot. This is what you'll find so when it first opens you'll have all of your tools laid out, your uh, properties panel, the library and everything like that. I'm actually just going to clear away the library just for now and then I'll show you a bit more about that later. Uh, first thing I'll show you is the virtual map. This is obviously where you're going to construct your projects, uh, combine shapes, add text, do all sorts of different things. It has the um, style of pretty much uh, every cutting map that's out there on the market. We've got the inch grid and also it's a 12 by 12 mat. You can change the size if you have a different size cutting mat to work on, uh, but for now I will be leaving it as it is. Next up right at the top is the toolbar. Uh, this gives us all of uh, basic tools like new projects, opening, saving, cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, and various other um, uh, more advanced features like importing SVGs, tracing an image, opening the library that you saw me close down earlier, opening the store, previewing, and also cutting directly from the software on certain machines. Next thing that I'll show you are the tool options. Uh, basically down here, We've got, again, lots of different things that we can work with. We've got pencil tools, pen tools, text tools, selection tools, the cutting knives, stencil um, accessories, the distortion tools, and, you know, sort of things to interact with on the workspace. Next up, we've also got our tools panel. Now, this gives you all of the extra bits that will be relevant if you're selecting one of the tools from the tool options. So you can see here when I select the pen tool, the different types of Bezier curves are available. The pencil tool will have some smoothing uh, attributes to it. Brush sizes, color picker, uh, the gradients, the knife. Some of these don't have options, some of them do. As you can see, the stencil bridge size we can change. So it's really down to the actual individual tool as to what will appear there. Now, going on from that, we have also got our uh, properties panel that's over here. So over here we can see our document size, our mat is set to 12 by 12. As I mentioned you can change the size to be whichever size of cutting mat you use, whether we're working with it portrait or landscape, which um, measurement units we want to use, whether that's inches, millimeters or centimeters. We can choose to turn the grid off if you want a nice clear workspace. We can choose how many um, lines and divisions there are and also various other uh, different attributes as well. There are various other options down here about positioning and sizing shapes, the color palettes for on-screen work, and different line types, also styles and cut line types, text features for uh, spacing them out, tracking, leading, and all that sort of thing, layers if we're working in different layers, and also the help files down here too. That's a great one to always have open and to really sort of get to know. And the last thing down here is the status bar, and this gives us basic information about what's happening on the mat. We've got a zoom feature where we can just fit uh, dis different things to the window. We can change various other aspects, and also it gives us a positioning guide for where our um, cursor is. So listen, that was just a very quick overview of the um, window that you'll see in Shortcuts a lot. Join me in the next few videos as I'll be going through each of these areas in depth and giving you much more information about each of the tools, the properties panel, the workspace, and also the toolbar options. So listen, thanks for watching this video and I'll join you in the next one. For more hints, tips and tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit me on any of these social networking sites.